I'm Nick Donaldson. I'm the lead designer on Robo Recall. It's been a journey to, to get to where we are. Kind of, we started off just throwing as many things at the wall as we possibly could. We we begged, borrowed, and stealed content from around the Unreal Engine, all over the company, and we just kind of threw the bullet train demo together. And then we had this great opportunity to um, ask ourselves again, like, what is what kind of game do we actually want to make? How do we take all the things that we really enjoyed about bullet train, the things that kind of resonated with people, and how do we make that into an experience that's going to be, you know, a game? So since we showed it uh, at OC3, I think we showed you. Um, the, the biped characters, we showed you the drones that fly, and we showed you the big bot. Um, we have a handful of, we have um, the fast bot is a new bot that you'll be seeing. Um, she runs really fast, and when you shoot at her, she teleports. And so, um, and she also has this leash. And um, what she does to you is she'll leash you if you're not paying attention, and you won't be able to teleport until you knock it off her. If you steal her leash from from uh, from her, you can use it on other bots and just pick them up and beat them around. You you have this kind of Hulk from the Avengers moment where you can just beat them into things. It's it's a lot of fun. It's it's very over the top. The flying bot is a guy who will kind of um, kind of launch himself around the level, um, and you can either take him down with bullets, but he has quite a lot of health or you can get it behind him and actually use him as a rocket himself. So you can either shoot his rockets at enemies or you can um, let go of him and he'll actually just be one giant rocket himself. We have the elite bipeds um, who are, um, they, they're going to change the way that you interact with, with the robots in, in a similar fashion to the fast spot where you can't actually grab them. So it's the one enemy type that you can't grab. If you didn't get all of the, um, all of the challenges in the first playthrough, you might want to play it again. And you know, earning stars gives you um, unlocks for your weapons and things like that. So um, there is kind of a, a reward for being able to go back through and finish all those things. You get to unlock your, you know, upgrade your weapons and, and perform better later in the game. The mod community is going to be it's going to be fun. Um, as we're playing, you know, this late in the project, we spend a lot of time just playing and, and trying to figure out, you know, the the big picture for for things that are going on with the game, and. Constantly, I'm just thinking, you know, we're using cheats to kind of get through the levels quickly, to get to the point we want to test it and stuff like that. And I keep thinking to myself, this would be a great mod. <laughs> One of my favorites is, you know, we, we have a cheat that just kills all of the bots in the level as they're jumping down from the buildings. And so as you're progressing through a level really quickly with the cheats, you just see enemies just like slam and hit the ground. <laughs> and so one of my thoughts is, it'd be great if there was a cheat that every enemy that spawned in just died instantly. And then you just like raining bots from the sky and ridiculous things like that. So Chance has done a great job of, of, um, of unlocking all of the, the things that, that, that mod that modders might want to do in the game, you know. There is a really broad range of things that you can do. You can almost do anything that you wanted with this kind of the mod tool set. So I'm excited to see what kinds of wacky and absolutely ridiculous things that people do. It should be fun.